much been um, something that I've been passionate about, principally because I worked in um, Turtle Conservation Project, which is an organisation that I co-founded with my wife. And we realised that there's only so much we can do um, before, you know, th things really start to change on the planet. And so a lot of the pollution, a lot of the plastics, marine life eating plastic and dying, thinking that they're eating food, um, I started to realise that a lot of these problems that we face in the environment are coming from issues that we need to address on our inside, our consciousness. And my artwork has really been inspired by spirituality. I grew up in, in the Himalayas. And so my connection, the, the connection that the Tibetan people have who... I went to a Tibetan school. My principal was... Um, well, can we just wind back there? How come you grew up in the Himalayas? My mother was passionate about spirituality. So she wanted me to grow up in an environment that held that really close to the heart. And so I myself picked up on that. And so that comes into my artwork. And I have a deep affinity for the spirituality, but that's also linked um, to, to nature. And I feel nat like the Aboriginal, all Indigenous cultures, Aboriginal culture as well, connects to the land as spirituality. And so nature, wildlife, represents that spirituality for me and my artwork. So you've tried to bring this into a children's book too. Um, what age group are you aiming at with the picture book? Uh, I'm looking at four to ten. So you're trying to get them in there early, aren't you? Yeah. To get them into yeah. this idea. And um, you've brought a couple of sketches in from the book because, well, you're actually crowdfunding the book, aren't you? Yeah, so the, um, the book is pretty much already fully crowdfunded. Um, there's like $200 to go to meet the target. So it was very, very successful. This is one of the pieces. So I'm going to pass this over to you. So an old friend we of mine. We can hold this up to the listeners. Oh, yeah. We're also Facebooking, so we'll hold it up to Facebook really. Uh, that's one of the illustrations from the book. It's of a dolphin. Uh, and you've painted actually an awful lot of dolphins and other cetaceans. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's painted. I think you could passion. do them in your sleep, couldn't you? <laughs> I could do it with my eyes closed, it feels like. Um, you know, the the affinity that I have for, for our marine life is, is massive, you know, so... So somebody who uh, contributed to your crowdfunding campaign has actually uh, got that piece now. They, yeah, they, they have. I, yeah. I thought I lost that piece. So yesterday I just found it and I was like, hallelujah, you know. So I'm really grateful um, that's going to go to an old friend from school who purchased that he's a barrister so yeah and you've got another piece that you bought in so this is a piece it's a completely different sort of illustration it's not a citation no this is more from the beginning of the book so that piece is called goddess gaia birthing it just says um gaia birthing gaia birthing so gaia represents the earth and um she she's actually birthing the universe in that picture okay can we see that one? Can that one? Can you check that one out? So, we, we actually, we'll, we'll get back to that one a little bit later. Let's talk about how the children's book is going because you've got um, a number of the illustrations done. You've got the funding pretty much together, which you've yeah, got yeah. funding. Yeah. Um, and you've pretty much, I guess, been thinking about the format of the book and things like this. And So when you actually finally get the book printed, mm. are people going to be able to access it? Will it be off the website? Or? I'm going to have it um, available on Amazon and then I'm going to go around different places um, working on um, doing a book launch at the various different libraries, state then um, I'm expecting it to be at the latest in June. Um, it's po quite possible that it's going to be earlier as well. And can people go to your site and keep 
sort of track of the progress of, of how yeah. it's going on? Yeah, so a lot of people have already been pre-purchasing on the Indiegogo website, so the Golden Dolphin Rainbow Turtle, you know, they can get it off, um, off that website and pre-purchase there, and then I'm going to have it on my website as well. Okay, so it's the Golden Dolphin Rainbow Turtle yeah. website. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figure if you type that into Google, it will come up. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, look, it's a lovely project, and it's always wonderful to see Oz doing illustrated books as well, which is terrific, you know. So if you want to check this one out by John Abella, you can go to the Golden Dolphin Rainbow Turtle website. Uh, you can even contribute that last $200 to the the uh, crowdfunding, I should think, or you can actually pre order your copy of the book. Mm. We have one of the prints, Guy on Bursting, away to one lucky listener that John has put in for us, double six eight zero seven triple nine, and um, Peter will be on the phone there because it's Australian Day. Our regular staff are away, so we're just manning it all here by ourselves. So please be patient if you don't get through the first time, but we'll put you in the draw for that one as well. Thanks for coming in, John. You're welcome. And also for your Thanks wonderful for assistance here. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. And uh, we'll be back with lots more Ask Canvas after this track from Inga Lindstrom called Leaves.